Okay, so my mission for today would be to make you familiar with CodeChef. Its website, all its components that you will ever use and how you can leverage CodeChef to become an expert. It is a great platform to match the CP. While some platforms could be intimidating at first and perhaps overwhelming to use for newbies, some in my opinion just spoon feed you and are not very challenging. CodeChef sits on that fine line in between and gives you the best of both worlds. So let's discuss why I made that statement without any further ado. So let's head over to codeshift.com. Okay, so first things first, create an account if you haven't already and log in through it. Here I've already logged in through my account. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction to competitive programming video, it is highly recommended that you participate in the contests that platforms like CodeChef conduct. But before that, it's better to get familiar with the platform and get a feel of the type of questions by solving some practice problems. So let's go to the practice and learn session and practice problems by difficulty level. As written, this is the place to hone your skills. This is a humongous problem set an ocean of problems that you can practice anytime and they are divided into these difficulty levels the beginner easy medium hard etc so let's say i go to the easy section and here a tip that it's better to sort the problems using the successful submissions button here and this will sort it in descending order and why because there are some easier easy problems and there are some harder easy problems right so it's recommended that you sort it by the number of submissions the number of people who could solve it because here we can safely assume that a problem which has been solved more can be considered as easier so this way we get all the easier problems of a difficulty level first so this is one way to practice the problems and another way is to search them by tags instead of difficulties and you can either go from here or go from here. Search problem by tax. So what this means is that let's say you've just learned a topic and now want to practice a few problems related to that. So just type in the topic, let's say binary search, you've just learned this and then you'll get all the problems that somehow revolve around binary search and you get them filtered. So let's say I pick this random problem here. Okay, so once you've read the problem and once you've got the logic, where do you write the program? Where do you code it out? Definitely not on Notepad, right? And setting up a, an IDE or a code editor on your system could be really tricky. And it gets even frustrating when things don't work as desired. And on top of that, compiling and running your code by tediously typing those long commands on that boring terminal window, something you don't want to consider. So this perfectly brings me into the next great feature from CodeChef, the CodeChef online IDE, which comes to the rescue. For that, just click the submit button and it will take you to that. So here's the CodeChef online IDE, a very powerful and a feature rich tool. It supports over 50 plus languages. So should your favorite language be C, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, Go, Ruby, it's got you covered. The main feature here is the autocomplete. So let's say you have really long variable names. Let's say my variable, right? And so next time you don't want to type it again and again. So just punch in a few characters like Okay, let's say we input this. So I, if I just type my, it will suggest me and then hitting the enter key, I get this. So this auto completes it for me. So really speeds up your coding process and a great feature, right? There are some more features that you can access from the settings that are the themes. There are several light themes as well as several dark themes. I personally prefer the Monokai one. Then you can change the tab size, and even the font size. 
uh, hey i also want to talk about this that let's say you have a lot of header files so a lot of include statements like include io stream include string include vector right and all of this and you have a lot of macro setup as well so define lsl ll as long long right and you don't and you have let's say a lot of these and you don't want to type it every time you open the ide you want it to appear automatically from where you can then continue to code so just hit this save as template button a live saver and whenever the next time you open the code shift id for any problem this code will appear as the starter code so you don't have to type this every time this as the name suggests becomes a template code a few keyboard shortcuts the most popular one control f to find anything so if i type my variable as you can see these to get highlighted right and you can also use control h to find as well as replace it so if i replace my variable with let's say var1 and i select replace all so it will replace all the instances of my variable with var1 then you have the multi cursor functionality like out of the world features so you can just control and click wherever you want and it will duplicate these cursors so what whatever i type in now will get added wherever i have clicked it and to exit just click anywhere on the ide right then you have keyboard shortcuts like control shift d to duplicate a line and control d to delete a line and this works for multiple lines as well then control slash to comment out a line and even multiple lines like this then all 10 arrow keys to swap lines up and down and there are plenty more keyboard shortcuts that you can refer from here it all boils down to how you can run and compile and run your code right so let me just convert it into some meaningful code problem with a lot of people who are just starting out that they forget that their code takes some input right so for that we need to enable this custom input and pass something as the input to our program right and then simply click on the run button now if our program did not require some input then even without this custom input enabled we could have run our code so yes we are getting 2 times 10 that is 20 really beautiful way to run your code you don't need to open the terminal again and again and it runs pretty fast as well now once you feel confident of your code just hit the submit button and get your code evaluated by the online judge when you have all of this great functionality why would someone even need an offline editor so this was all about the code chef ide and now let's head back to the main page once you've solved plenty of problems and you are now fully comfortable with the platform it's time to give a contest and get yourself tested participating in a contest is also the best way to improve like not only does it help you check where do you stand but is one of the best ways in my opinion where you can get better at competitive programming so currently there are four types of contests that code chef conducts internally the first is a the long challenge that occurs in the start of the month and last for 10 days so if you are not a speed coder and you want to take your time to solve every problem it is great for you and is mainly intended for beginners to learn new algorithms and data structures because if you could not solve a problem in this then it's not because you did not have enough time it was because it was truly out of your reach so that's why you can think deeply on every problem and this makes you push your limits then there are two short contests as well that last around three hours the first is the cook off and the second is the lunch time <laughs> yeah chefified names and they are like icpc styled and the lunch time is the ioi style but you can definitely appear for all of them and finally there's the code chef starters another short contest but which is exclusively for division 3 coders now what's this division 3 to understand that we'll first need to understand the rating system of code chef now there's ratings which is defined by our performance in contests Similar to the ratings in chess, 
we have ratings in competitive programming as well rating is a number the higher the rating in broader sense we can say the better the sport programmer but as you can clearly notice that your exact rating doesn't really matter right like my rating currently is 1816 i guess so that exact number doesn't matter so for simplicity purposes ranges of ratings are clubbed into stars like one star two star three star so until seven star so this makes it easier right based on these stars we have the divisions and the main purpose of divisions is so that in a contest in a competition you only compete with the people of your skill level a novice doesn't have to compete with a pro coder right so there are the division systems there are three divisions div 3 is of one star and two star coders div 2 is of three star and four star coders and div 1 is for five six and seven star coders and this also implies that the problems for the division 3 of a contest would be slightly easier than the ones for division 1. And yeah, I know that was a lot of information to soak in. So let's take up an example of a contest. Let's head over to the compete section and open any pass contest. As you can see, there are a lot of contests. Not all of them are internal ones. So let's open the March lunch time. So this is the March lunch time. As you can see, it lasted for 2.5 hours and was held on the 27th March. And here there were three divisions, right? And based on your division, you have to participate in one of them. Since I'm in division two, I open this link. And here there were some problems, right? There were around six problems here. And based on how many problems you could solve and what rank did you get, your rating is subject to change from that. Now there are two more things that I wanted to convey regarding the Port Chef contest. If you perform really well in a contest and get in the top three or top five or something like that, then Port Chef gives you laddus as a token of motivation from which you can then redeem some really cool goodies like a water bottle or a Port Chef t-shirt or a pen or a book, a VR headset or a drones, etc. Another incentive to perform well at contests and get better at competitive programming. And also, if you could not solve a problem, let's say this one, then you can go to the editorials, which is the solution of the problem. And this is where the real learning is happening, right? If you could not solve a problem, then you must watch the solution and how you could approach the problem next time when you see a similar one. So there's the text editorial as well as there's a video editorial. So hopefully all that ratings and contests and division stuff now makes much more sense. Then finally, although there are a lot of cool courtship features still left, the one I wanted to point out is the courtship discuss, right? Which is a discussion forum where you can ask some questions or maybe let out some facts and just get your queries resolved by the courtship community. And here you can just talk about anything related to competitive programming or code chef. It's a great way. The code chef community is really helpful. So if you are stuck at some point, then make sure you ask it here. And hopefully there would be someone who could help you out. And if you know the answer yourself, then you can answer someone else's query as well. So this was about the code chef discuss. And let's head back over to the main page. All in all, Codechef provides you some really nice components, the never-ending problem set, the four monthly contests that it organizes, a really powerful alternative to any offline code editor, the Codechef Online IDE, let us its dummy currency which you can earn and then exchange to redeem some cool goodies, and last but not the least, the discuss platform to discuss pretty much anything. CodeShift captures the essence of the whole CP world in a single platform. With that said, this wraps up the video. This is Bharat Singla from CodeShift signing off for now and I'll see you next time.